In the framework of the International Investment Forum arranged by Euro Business Assembly here in Badems, I would like to introduce our honorable member and all honorable guests, uh, Mr. Matobe Seseli, uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Argon Asset Management. Mr. Seseli, I am more than happy to meet you here and uh, I do appreciate that you, you have found the time uh, to come here. Uh, I know uh, how how, uh, how tough uh, your schedule, your business schedule. And uh, I know that the name of Agon Asset Management is quite famous name in the investment management services rendering sector in South Africa. Um, could you be so kind to tell us uh, the story of success? Mm, okay, no, fantastic. Uh, to start off, thank you very much for having me and doing the interview. Yes, my schedule is very busy, but never too, too busy to talk. Um, it's been a fantastic journey. It's been it's been over 11 years now. Um, lots of lots of hard work has gone into it. Lots of sacrifices. Uh, lots of sleepless nights. Um, and of course, the challenges are many. Uh, but because you're 11 years old, it doesn't mean that you're over the challenges. In fact, as you grow bigger and you become more significant, you find a different type of challenge. Uh, just about the success itself, it just it's really been very humbling. But there are a number of things I think that uh, you need to get right if you're going to be successful in investment management um, or, or away from investment management itself and setting up a business, uh, what is your end vision? I think that's very important. Uh, all we're trying to do with Argon is, is to build a premier asset management firm that is uh, African owned and, manage, and, and managed. Uh, I think that we've done a very good job in terms of working or making steps towards attaining that vision. Certainly the recognition that we have seen uh, globally and domestically in South Africa suggests that we're making the correct steps. Uh, coming to the things that are important in investment management itself, um, obviously an investment philosophy is very important. This is how you think about investing. Um, ultimately clients choose you on the basis of your philosophy as well as your ability to extract performance on their behalf. Uh, so investment philosophy is, pro is, is important. And investment process is next. Um, you know, how is it that you're going to operationalize your philosophy and apply it to the market so you can generate value? But you also need people with that. So pe people are a very important ingredient. Um, you know, you want people that are educated, that are experienced, that are passionate about that which it is the organization is about. Um, we almost five years ago introduced a, a special program of supporting our people better and how they do their work. Uh, it's really a coaching program aimed at getting the best out of our individuals but also getting them to work a lot better across teams. I think it's made for uh, a very efficient organization and I think part of the reason why we have the success that we have uh, are put down to getting uh, the human dynamics right. So our people are, uh, are driven, they're focused, they expect a lot uh, from themselves and they expect a lot from the organization in return. Um, so in a nutshell, those would be the hard things to get right. And then there's of course the other softer stuff, uh, your values as a firm, um, that's important. Um, I said earlier on in, in, in my presentation, um, you know, it's not just about when you engage with clients, it's not just about the portfolio management agreement that you have, but it's also about what governs the space between you and I. Um, Network and communication, yes. yes. Support. Yes. Mm, if, if, it, if it's, as, it been, as it has been shown, uh, an agreement on its own is not enough, what else, what else gives a client safety and comfort? And I think that your values become very important. Um, and of course, other than that, um, you know, the support of family, uh, you know, and the sacrifices that, that they've made, my young family, my wife, uh, they complain, they don't see enough of me. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, as we become more significant, uh, they get to appreciate what lies behind. Uh, Everyone the needs attention, you know. <laughs> Everyone needs attention, yeah. So it's, it's a range of things. Uh, at the beginning, you know, where you were uh, socialized and brought up, the role that your parents play. Uh, my mother, very powerful woman. My dad, who I lost many, a number of years ago, very significant uh, 
a force in my life. So, you know, all of those things, all of those things play a part. They all come together and, uh, and feed uh, a picture. And a picture is just, you know, a capture of a moment at a point in time. But it doesn't tell you the things that, you know, I could go yes, on I and agree. on and on. Yeah. Uh, so, I can feel how many challenges uh, you faced. Yes. On this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There are numerous. There are numerous. Starting the business itself, access to funding, uh, a challenge, access, um, uh, a difficulty because the brand is new, uh, visibility is in there. Uh, there's, there's a range of things that you have to get over, but I'm pleased that we're at this point. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have been building step by step the system of management. Yes. And uh, I can imagine uh, how many projects, ambition projects uh, you have. Yeah. And maybe you can uh, lift up a curtain at least a little bit and uh, you can share with us um, with your aims, with your targets, with your okay. plans for the nearest uh, future. No, sure. Um, for the first part of the business, we've been focused on the institutional space. So institutional pools of capital that require uh, man, money management expertise such as we offer. Um, you know, we're now rolling out into retail, so the individual investor who's interested in accessing our expertise could now do so. Uh, I'm excited about, about the work that we're going to, to do in that space. Uh, there's a lot that we take for granted, like financial literacy, like language. You know, often language, language is a challenge. It's just, uh, just being here in Germany, uh, I don't speak German, uh, but getting around and speaking to people here is just such a challenge because people, you know, um, this is all that they know. Um, when it comes to the end consumer of financial services, we go out and present these things in English. Uh, but that's not their starting point. Their starting point is, is another language. So how do you make uh, those concepts accessible? And I think that you will be successful to the extent that you're able to bring those concepts across in a way that they can um, consume and understand. So that's very exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I think that the industry in, 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 in my country could do a lot more in terms of doing that. Another project I'm very passionate about is, is one of, um, you know, South Africa's history. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the things that we need to be doing is, is, is building more skills in terms of black people. Uh, how do we create more opportunities uh, for black graduates? Um, the economy is not, is not doing so great right now in terms of employment generation. Um, so we've recently hired eight graduates. Um, you know, we went out on a search, um, received 674 CVs, and we screened and assessed and did everything and came out just with about uh, some of the best graduates on offer. We got, you know, we got eight. Uh, so we've committed to helping them build their careers in the investment management industry. That's something very close to me. Uh, there so, are a lot so of spheres also in business uh, uh, that uh, request your services. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Indeed. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's that. And, and I guess um, also wanted to grow into more significance. It's just uh, our brand of doing work uh, could be exported to other geographies, so that's also on the pipeline. Uh, so Africa starts to beckon. Um, we're speaking to more and more international investors, so tailoring the message accordingly, uh, reaching uh, German-speaking people in Germany. Uh, <laughs> would they be interested in an Africa product or a South Africa product? That's also very interesting. Carry on the so, same. Mm. Yeah, so uh, there are a range of things we could do, um, but that's all part of the future. Oh, Mr. Ceselli, I do wish and the uh, Euro Business Assembly do wish, uh, does wish uh, to fulfill all your projects and to get success in any activities of yours. And uh, I'm convinced that uh, it will be this way. Uh, thank, thank you very, you very much. So much. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. <laughs>